Hello fellow music producers and talented people out there. Welcome back to my channel. This is a lot of GMAC Productions and I have another tutorial for you using my favorite DAW in the world, Mixcraft Pro Studio 7. And I got a uh, question on, my, on one of my videos in my YouTube channel asking if how can he uh, use a part of his audio uh, if he wants to change the pitch or he wants to change the audio to a higher pitch or a lower pitch how could you do that? Um, you instead of me just answering or doing a reply on his question, I, I that inspired me to do a video on how to do pi pitch shifting in Mixcraft Pro Studio Seven. It's one of the things that I'm really impressed on. Uh, Mixcraft has definitely, definitely, and impressively uh, did a lot of changes on not just changes but improvements on on pitch shifting technology so um, without further ado um, as you can see on the screen I got a vocal uh, audio sound from the library so let's just hear it right now get funky get freaky okay <laughs> all right let me just double it uh, okay Alright, so what I'm going to do in order for this to change its pitch is you just highlight the track right now and you go to sound, okay? Now on this, on the left side of the screen, you can see uh, where the pitch adjustment is. So it's actually here. Now you don't need to do any complicating things unlike before that you need to stack up a lot of you know voices and then you know do step two step three in order for you to get the desired uh, pitch or desired voice you want like a robotic voice or uh, uh, a chip chipmunk voice so here what you can do is just you just need to change the semitones okay so what I'm gonna do right now is do it real time and let's just uh, turn on turn on the loop mode all right now, as we play it, I'll just change the semitones to a uh, higher pitch. Get funky, get freaky. 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 <laughs> Wow. Okay, so it's up to 24 semitones of pitch adjustment that you can do. So let's just uh, go to zero right now, and then let's go down and play it again. Get funky, get freaky. Get funky, get freaky. Wow. So it's actually the same up to negative 24 semitones of pitch adjustment that you can do on your audio. Now, what you need to do is just um, put on some effects like a reverb or a delay and see what it does for you guys so i hope you learn a lot from this lesson it's quite quite um a bit of short lesson right now uh, but just that this is just to answer the question of um of the person who asked this question on my youtube channel so thank you guys for watching keep on liking my videos keep on subscribing please 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 thank you very much um uh till the next tutorial goodbye